Hi guys, I'm Jess and this is my Golden Retriever Hudson. We've been living out of the back of my 2017 Hyundai Tucson, camping, traveling, cooking, and exploring all over the US. If you love the outdoors and wanna see our adventures roaming the country and discovering some really cool places, please like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and continue watching. It is seven o'clock here and I can see my windshield completely frosted over. Wow, gorgeous morning here in New Mexico. Sorry, that's pretty loud. I was saying I need a shower. Hudson looks really cute. Over here, the windshield is defrosting. And I was saying I'm going to stop at the Planet Fitness to shower because um, I really need one. And I was like, maybe I'll stop, like, you know, along my way. But let's be honest, I'll probably just wait till I get to Flagstaff because I know they have a Planet Fitness there. Uh, so what's another seven or eight hours of stinking on the road? New Mexico looking pretty awesome this morning. Oh, look at my rider. He's the cutest. Feeling pretty good today. We're gonna get to we're gonna get to um, Flagstaff around two in the afternoon, maybe three. I'm gonna go straight to a Planet Fitness and take a shower. Kind of over like the crying portion of being sad, but this is gonna be my first night at like an actual campsite. So I'm a little bit nervous about that too. I don't want to stay in like a sketchy area, which is why I'm glad we're getting there in the early afternoon so I can scope out a few different spots. I'm pretty excited to like get to a place where we're going to spend a couple days. I think he's pretty excited too. Yeah, he's not impressed with the amount of time we spent in the car. Um, so that's how we're feeling today. We're feeling good. We're feeling ready for once to come. Just filled up with gas forgot that I had mom's cookies that she packed me so we got those out yeah we're gonna share some cookies and hop back on the road we're back on the freeway now breaking out the cookies Flagstaff at Planet Fitness. Let Hudson walk around before I go take a shower. Uh huh. Just left Planet Fitness. I am all showered up. Let's see how Hudson's doing. Hey, boo. You doing okay in here? Huh? You ready to go find camp? Yeah. So I'm back in the car, just took a shower at Planet Fitness. My face looks kind of red. I think I probably got sunburnt from driving so much. Um, but now I'm going to head to Walmart, which is like 10 minutes away, and then go to camp near Walnut Canyon, which is about 15 minutes from Walmart. Uh, John and I camped there before when we were here, and I think it had good cell signal. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and check that out. As long as it has signal, like that's probably where I'm gonna stay. I'm definitely feeling a little sad because we've been here before and wow, well, I'm. Uh, uh, we've been here before and it's not the same alone. Feeling a little sad. I'll be okay. Probably gonna talk to people on the phone. But. Uh, yeah, being in a place that we've been before and actually going to camp by myself tonight It's making me a little sad Making me miss miss my brother uh, All right Let's go to Walmart Made it to Walmart Back at the car now got a case of monster some pepperoni uh, cheese, tortillas, and blueberries and a rotisserie chicken. That's my haul. We're gonna try and eat a lot of this chicken today because we don't got a fridge. So that's the plan. I don't want to get a lot, but I wanted to get real food. And this pup are both ready to go cook some food and get out of the car. Oh, he's seeing a shadow or a light from my phone. Okay, let's go to Walnut Canyon. Walnut Canyon campground area. 
that's where we're headed now. We just pulled onto the dirt road. We are employing the best um, camp scout in the game here. He's looking for sites for us. Isn't that right, buddy? We'll find something. This right here is what I'm looking at. I'm thinking we'll find something better. If not, we might come back to that spot. So we're turned around, headed back the other direction uh, because I actually forgot to get gas before I came out here. So we're gonna go back into town and fill up with gas just because uh, I've got like a quarter of a tank and we're getting pretty back here right now and I don't wanna be stuck without gas. So I'm gonna go back into town and get some gas then come back out here. Stupid, I should have remembered to do it when I was in town, but I did not. Here we are, Circle K. Yeah. We're back. Oakmont Drive. We're back to where we friggin' were. Now let's find us a camping spot. There's a spot over here that I'm considering pulling into. The approach looks a little rough, not gonna lie. But I might be able to do it. Hopefully no one's over here. Oh, it looks muddy and messy. Nope. Maybe that's why no one was here. I just want to find a spot. I drove up there. There's someone camped over here. <sighs> yeah. There's a Nissan up there that, like, it's hard to see from the road. Alright, well this is like the farthest I made it before, I think, so I'm going to slow down, really start investigating again. Uh, that looks horrible to go in. Let's go a little further. I might end up back here. I might end up at that sloppy spot. I hope not. I think I can find something better. Seeing mailboxes here, which uh, makes me think we've reached the end of the road. Yep, that was the boundary. All right, time to turn around. So there's this road right pretty much at the forest boundary, which I think might actually be where John and I camped. I can't remember. Right over here. I don't know if I can get in here that well. Buddy. I don't think it's where we camped because I crashed a drone when we stayed at this site and I don't see the tree where I would have crashed it but I think this is where we're camping for the night. Check out the mountains out there. All right let's eat something. I'm freaking hungry. I feed Hudson dinner. We'll just hang out. So Hudson has had his dinner. He was just drinking some water. That's why he's coughing a little bit. But I got my stuff out. Um, we've already torn into the chicken a bit, eating some of that. So I got the chicken, some cheese, and a wrap. And I'm just gonna cook that on a skillet, basically just warm it up. I've laid a wrap down, loaded it up with chicken. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a bunch of cheese on it. And then, take another one of these, throw it over top, and then we'll start this bad boy. Got the propane going. Just gonna try and heat that up and melt it all together. That's the plan, Huts. That's the plan. I ate one cold already, so we'll see how it is hot. That's about done. The cheese is melted in there. We'll see how it tastes. The crispiness that this side got, actually I think is really helping it. it gives it a little crunch, a little more pizzazz. I wish I had bought like sour cream or um, hot sauce to just spice it up a little bit, but it's okay. I'm gonna eat it.
Some guy just parked his car down here and was parked down there for a couple minutes and then walked through the woods, like up past this road. So I don't know what he's doing, um, but I am in the car. Got my keys in the ignition if I need to go. Everything's packed up. I still have not seen this guy come back. I don't like it. I'm moving. You know what? No, I'm not moving, but I am turning around. Yeah, he's definitely just scouting to see if his Subaru can get in there. I'm still going to be on guard, but I'm going to stay here. There was not a lot of other spots to choose from, so... We're gonna park back where we were parked. That was a ride of emotions. Stay tuned for more. So, turns out we have to move. Um, not because of the creepy person who was walking through here, but uh, we're like half a mile past where dispersed camping is allowed actually. So we gotta drive back half a mile that way and hope we can find a spot. A guy on a golf cart just came through and he said the park rangers will come through and tell us we gotta move. So he figured he'd just pop over and let us know. Um, and he's driving up that road that the guy was walking up to look and see if anyone else is over here because this is not part of the dispersed camping. So unfortunately, we have to go try and find a new site. Okay, we're gonna head out. Well, whatever, hopefully we can find something. There was that really wet site that we passed. Crap, it just, it sucks. Pull on up into this spot. And there's a Nissan parked up here actually. So it's not good. We'll pull back out of here. pulled into a spot that I don't even know if I should have with the car that I have, but I really friggin' went for it, so I hope no one's up here in this spot. All right, new spot. This was a dangerous spot to pull into for my car, but I made it up. Um, I'll take you out and show you the path. This is where we're parking. Hopefully no one comes and tells us we have to leave. So actually a cooler looking spot than the last one we were at. It's got a better view. There's a fire pit right there, but there's a fire pit at the last one too. I'll come show you what we drove up to get, to get here. This is where I drove over. Check out this. I drove past this spot a couple times already thinking that it was gonna to be too hard for my car to get up, but I just went for it and it made it up here. So getting back down might be another question. Let's get the drone out and fly it around. Yeah. Kind of, maybe should not have drove up here, but I did, so.
minutes. We just finished flying the drone. This is another look around the campsite. Um, just off drone. Just handheld. Point five view. This is a bizarre view. I know that was definitely, I definitely just panned way too fast there. Sorry. The moon is out. It's like six o'clock. The sun has gone pretty much all the way down. So I've kicked Hudson in here already. Hello. Hello, buddy. What are you doing back there? You smelling chicken juice? Probably. We got chicken up here like that we gotta get rid of um, the leftovers, but I got nowhere else to put it. So that's where it's sitting. Wow. It got so dark in here. Can you come up front so I can climb in the back? So I'm all climbed in, all laid down. We're getting ready to go to sleep. Not really, I'm gonna watch some TV. It's like six o'clock, but we're in for the night because it's dark out. So good night guys.